Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is going to be a relaxing recording and what I'm going to do I'm videoing this and I'm also recording it as a podcast so it's not going to be a long recording short relaxation session so all I'm going to ask you to do is if you're watching a recording I'd like you to focus on that badge that little signature thing on my top if you're watching a video if you're watching or if you're listening on a podcast then you can't do that obviously yeah so what I'm going to do is just ask you to focus it's basically about a few inches above my nipple my boobies aren't quite as perky as they used to be my nipples used to be up there so for a visual for a you know an old-fashioned hypnotic induction where you focus on a specific visual thing for example focusing on something on the wall or a light or something like that I'm going to ask you to focus on that little badge and for those of you listening on your podcast I'd like you to have your eyes open only listen when you can safely close your eyes because you will be closing your eyes but at the moment your eyes can stay open in fact you're not going to want to keep your eyes open there will come a time as you continue to listen where you're going to want to close your eyes but I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open and it's annoying but it's okay I enjoy being annoying it's one of my you know favorite things so the more you try and keep your eyes open the more your eyes are going to want to close there's a few reasons it might partly be because your eyelids are getting tired and your your body is becoming more relaxed listening to me your eyes are going to become more focused and more tired as they focus on that badge near my nipple just looking at my left booby basically and as you focus on that I realize it's not right in the middle of the camera or of the screen but just, you just focus on it move it around <laughs> I was gonna, like, swirl it around a bit but I'll just move it around a little bit so all you're doing is you're kind of blocking out the other stuff that's on the screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on it myself as I talk those listening on the podcast maybe focus on something on the wall or if you're lying down on the ceiling just a spot um, could be anything doesn't matter if it's uh, if you live in a place like mine you've got a choice of cobwebs to look at or weird stains on the wall that we don't discuss so just focus in your eyes there's also a degree of because I've asked you kind of told you that you need to keep your eyes open and when you do close your eyes your whole body is just going to just fall almost 
you're not going to you're not going to physically fall over unless you were standing up so don't do this standing up but you will feel almost like you're falling your body will just kind of collapse but in a good way the muscles will just relax you just completely but not not with your eyes open why your eyes are open in a way you can feel a little bit of you can feel more and more kind of tired your eyes as they focus on the badge or on the the wall or the ceiling whatever you're focusing your eyes on that becomes more of your focus as you just spend your time listening to my voice and if you're watching a video you're going to want to really stare at that it's got to be better than looking at my funny face so if you just stare at that little badge thing this cost me 30 pound this is proper quality and i've got something to suck on look so just focusing on the thing you are visually focusing on and there's a part of you is going to be thinking i don't want to focus on that i don't want to get i, want, I don't want to do what i'm told don't tell me what to do who are you you're some big nosed bald man on a video who are, you to, who are you to tell me what to do even though you're listening and you're going along with it because you want to and you're looking forward to that you know that feeling of calmness that's going to increase the still a, we all have that part of us that just the maybe it's the rebellious part you know don't tell me what to do no one tells me what to do not even me you know it's a little bit and that's kind of what makes it more fun because then you're almost fighting with yourself a little bit but when you realize that you're choosing and don't forget to blink by the way you know this isn't a staring contest you are looking at it but you can blink you know you need to blink and every time you do blink your eyes will get more tired and <sighs> you'll find that your eyes are closing but you open your eyes again because you're determined to do this and it's a short 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 video short you know podcast episode but as you've already wasted eight minutes of your life listening you might as well carry on you might as well carry on and to be fair, how you felt before you pressed the play button on this video and on this podcast has probably changed. Maybe it's frustration. Maybe well, I'm more frustrated now. I'm more tense than I was before. Probably not, though. You're probably finding that you are feeling more relaxed. A little bit more with every time you blink you kind of you want to just close your eyes but you're not now some people will close their eyes before I say so and those that do that will feel completely relaxed and so calm and they'll experience feeling relaxed sooner than those that still got their eyes open but that's okay because everybody's got their point of um should we, we could say no return but everyone's got the point where they need to just let go and when you do let go you let go of everything you really let go of everything it's almost it's it's weird it's like you're holding on to all of this 
tension and stress and worry and anxiety and panic or whatever all this crap and it is crap in a sense of it's it needs to be released there's a reason why we go to the toilet because if we didn't we would die simple as that if you didn't go to the toilet for a year you'd be dead as simple as that you'd, you'd explode and you'd be full of bleh. so we have to go to the toilet we have to let go of the crap the emotional stressful crap that doesn't mean that everything connected with that stress or that anxiety or the worry is crap it doesn't mean that everything that you're worried about is pointless because let's be realistic a lot of stuff really is important to us but we need to take a break from that so even if you've just come from visiting a family member in hospital or you've got some serious situation that you're dealing with letting go of that for a short while letting go of the crap the crappy feeling it feels crappy doesn't it the tension the stress the worry concern anxiety panic uh, racing thoughts the feelings in your body it's crappy and you need to be able to allow yourself time to let it go it's really really important to let it go and I know that it's difficult sometimes to comprehend as you still focus in on that thing it's sometimes difficult to comprehend uh, and to separate the actual event that's happening in your life and the feelings that you have connected to that event and to realize and remember and really really get it into your head that by letting go of the feelings for a period of time is in no way um, being it's it's not affecting what's happening it's not making what's happening le any less important to you it just means that you're stepping away from those feelings and we all need to do that we all need to do that you may visit someone in hospital even that person in hospital needs if they can to step away to have a break from the feelings connected to what they're going through that's why people in hospital with are on medication pain medication because they need that separation from what's happening they need that break from the physical discomfort and also things like morphine take off the emotional and the mental trauma sometimes connected with being in hospital because it it reduces the pain emotional and physical so you owe it to yourself to be able to have a break take a step away and know that everything in your life is still going to be there when you open your eyes you know you're not going to close your eyes and suddenly wake up and or open your eyes and you're like oh, where am i where's my bed gone where's my television you know everything's still going to be there except maybe the stress because when 
you open your eyes again after eventually closing your eyes, if you haven't done already, is you still have a lot of that relaxation still with you. It's the same way as if you if you get into a swimming pool, you get out of the swimming pool, you're not in the water anymore, but you're still wet. And that's how relaxation can affect you. When you're in the relaxation itself, kind of like a swimming pool. Not might not be a good analogy if you don't like swimming pools. I'm not a swimmer, don't like it myself, but that sense of being covered in healing relaxation safely enjoying those feelings when you arise from that experience of deep relaxation you will still have those feelings of comfort, calmness. So that's one of the many benefits of relaxing. So if you're still staring at my thing on my top, and if you're still listening on the podcast, staring at the wall or something you're focusing on, you may have found that every time you blink, your eyes seem to, the blinks are a lot, sl lot slower than they were. They're not really blinks anymore. They're just intermittent periods of closing your eyes and then opening them again. I'm gonna count down from five to one. And when I do, I'd like you to keep your eyes open and if they're still, if they're closed now, you can choose if your eyes are closed and you feel really relaxed, then just leave your eyes closed. You don't, you know, just enjoy that. If your eyes are closed just through boredom, then I'll ask you to open your eyes again and just stare at that thing that you're staring at. As I count down from five down to one, and I'll be honest, I don't even want to open my eyes myself. My eyes, I got my eyes closed. I'm a bit better open, I suppose, but. Uh, anyway, yeah, so um, I need to focus. Right, five down to one. When you get to one, You can just allow your body just to drop. And when you get to one, I'd like you to breathe out, like, you know, in fact, you can breathe out of every number I say. So if I say five, four, Three, two, One, close your eyes.
Wow, I'm practically sinking, melting into the chair. Wow. I can feel my back literally just relaxing and molding to the shape of the chair. My legs, my arms, my hands, my feet. My stomach, my chest. Even my nipples <laughs> relaxed. I think the thing I'm noticing more <sighs> is how tired I feel and how calm my mind is. How calm. And it's almost quiet, really. There's nothing going on. No chitter chatter. No negativity. Ah, it's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Now you can stay with your eyes closed as long as you want really and you can open your eyes any time you choose Well, nothing really more for me to say, so I'm going to go away, leave you alone. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself, because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.